Here's another binomial theorem question. Um, in this question, it starts off asking us a sort of a SIRS type question, which is quite straightforward, then an expansion question up to x cubed, simplifying, and then using your answer to part b with x is a twelfth, find an approximate value for root, seven, uh, root 6 to 5 dp. Right, let's start the first part. Show that this is equal to k root 6 where k is rational. Now, you might look at it and say, well, I don't know what to do. Firstly, write 1 and uh, 1 24th as an improper fraction. This is clearly 25 over 24 as an improper fraction, and that to the negative a half. Now, the negative means 1 over 25 over 24 to the positive a half. And to the power of a half is the square root, so that's 1 over the square root of 25 over 24, which is equal to 1 over the square root of 25 divided by the square root of 24. Now, 1 over a fraction is equal to uh, the, the inverted fraction, so that would be root 24 over root 25. Okay, now, that is the square root of 24 over uh, 5, now, the square root of 24, can we write, uh, can we break that down or simplify that third? Well, we could obviously write this, um, we could write this as the square root of 4 multiplied by the square root of 6 over 5, and the square root of 4 is 2, so that's 2 root 6 over 5, or we could write that as 2 fifths root 6. So going back to our original question, what's k where k is rational? k is clearly two-fifths, and rational means it's a, a fraction, so we're done there. Next part, expand 1 plus a half x to the negative a half in ascending powers of x. Firstly, I'm just going to write down my binomial theorem as I always do. Let's just actually write it uh, here. Part b, 1 plus x to the power of n is 1 plus nx plus n n minus 1 over 2 times 1 x squared plus n n minus 1 n minus 2 over 3 times 2 times 1 x cubed plus dot dot dot. Okay, let's apply this to 1 plus a half x to the negative a half. This is going to be 1 plus negative a half multiplied by a half x plus negative a half negative 3 over 2 over 2 times 1, a half x all squared, plus negative a half, negative 3 over 2, negative 5 over 2, all over 3 times 2 times 1, a half x cubed, plus dot dot dot. And now it's just tidying up, making sure we can tidy this up. So, 1. Negative a half plus a half, uh, negative half times a half x is negative a quarter x. And then this one I suggest we get the calculator. So it's going to be equal to This one's going to be equal to uh, plus 3 over 32x squared when we work that out. And the last one's going to be equal to negative 5 over 128 x cubed. Okay, and so we've got ourselves our expansion for 1 plus a half x to the negative a half, and that's for the modulus of a half x less than 1, i.e. the modulus of x less than 2. And so we're done for our four marks there. All coefficients have been simplified. Okay, I might just copy that, so I've got this here.
Okay, it says then, use your answer to part B with x equal a 12 to find an approximate answer for root 6, given your answer to five decimal places. Now, one thing I want you to remember is if you go back to part A, we've done some work on uh, root, root 6 has appeared before. Uh, 1 and 124 to the negative half is equal to some lots of root 6, okay? So, let's let x be equal to uh, 12. So, let x equals 1 twelfth. And then this would be 1 plus 1 24th, which is 1 and 1 24th, which is 25 uh, over 24 to the negative half, okay? On this side. So the left-hand side would be that. What would the right-hand side be? The right-hand side would be equal to, uh, substituting in a twelfth here, it would be 1 subtract a quarter multiplied by a twelfth plus 3 over 32 a twelfth squared uh, subtract 5 over 128 a twelfth cubed. And if we type that in our calculator there, we would get 1 subtract a quarter multiplied by a twelfth plus 3 over 32 multiplied by a twelfth squared minus 5 over 1 to 8 multiplied by a twelfth cubed. And we get for this we would get 0 0.97951027. Okay, now because these two sides are equal, and in part A, we've worked out this is equal to, we said it was exactly 2 fifths root 6. We therefore know that the left hand side and the right hand side are equal, so 2 fifths root 6 must be equal to this thing. 0 0.97979510027. So we're asked about root 6. What's root 6 then? Root 6 is this divided by 2 fifths. So 0 0.97979510027 divided by 2 fifths, which is 0 0.4. And we get ourselves 2.4494877. Now the question asks us to root 6 to 5 decimal places, so therefore root 6 is to 5 decimal places 2.4494, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 4, 9 to 5 decimal places. So, and we're done there. So this question is quite clever. We had to use part B and part A. Do think back, what was the point of this part A part? So you must be thinking, I'm going to use previous parts to answer these questions. But that's the answer there.